new block and we're going to add in some bootstrap HTML and CSS and use some of the bootstrap classes uh, we're going to use a mixture of bootstrap 4 <coughs> uh, which is in the alpha stage and we're also going to use bootstrap 3 components as well so it's going to be a little bit of a mixture but it does work in MobiRise uh, so what we're going to do first is first you need to purchase an HTML uh, the code editor so you do that by going to extensions and themes and then I already have it um, purchased and it's in my uh, my boodle bag I guess that's how my wife would say it but it's a uh, it's in my collection of <coughs> excuse me uh, extensions and themes now um, you know, you would see a little pay button here so you just pay and uh, go through the process of paying for that and once it's in then you have access to the HTML block both here where you can edit the code of a particular block that you've already uh, established or if you go all the way to the bottom you can see that you can actually drag in a full HTML block uh, which is what we're going to do today so let's find a good spot for it and let's see this looks like as good a spot as any <clears throat> now once you have this in here um, all you have to do is click up here to edit the code or it says click to show the code editor and what the code editor is is an HTML and CSS editor so it's basically like you have a split screen if you're using an IDE uh, like Sublime or Atom and you have your HTML code which goes here and you have your CSS which corresponds to the HTML code and the really cool part about this is this HTML code is is directly contained inside of this block <clears throat> and the CSS that goes here uh, will directly affect what's inside this block but it won't as, as unless you set global elements it won't as easily affect these other blocks so it's a very um, powerful tool because it's kind of kept together um, it might you might find it a little bit limiting and I'm actually going to do a second video showing you how to take your MobiRise website out of MobiRise and publish it out of MobiRise and then use your own tools your own development tools to be able to put together the website that you want to so this is where we're going to start for now uh, type your valid HTML here <clears throat> we're actually going to take care of that and we're going to take care of this because we don't need that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this is the um, alpha version of bootstrap 4 uh, which is available for you to use and begin to put in um, they're using something called cards which is a new component for Twitter bootstrap if you've ever used that before uh, so they used to have panels, wells, and thumbnails, and now they're moving all that functionality into something called cards. And you can read all about cards. Uh, you've seen cards if you've kept up with anything in web development and design. Uh, so this is more of a card-based uh, design in little blocks. So you can see what all is available. Uh, so there's a lot of different classes and things like that. Uh, that you can begin to put inside of your um, of your bootstrap sites and your bootstrap code in order to get some cool things like uh, card inverse which just reverses puts a, a light text on a dark background that kind of thing <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the very basic uh, card so this will be the card here uh, it has a header we're gonna take that off but we're just gonna use kind of the basic card markup here so we're just going to take this code and we're going to copy it and then we're going to come and we're just going to put it right into our uh, MobiRise editor so now we have a basic card uh, like I said we're going to take off this top image cap let's move it over Okay, so now we have a card, and in here we have a few options. We can 
cancel and close and if we do that it says do you want to close it the changes will not be saved no we don't want to do that we can save and close it or we can preview now the preview button is a little bit weird because yeah if you roll off of it I'll show you so you can preview it so now you can see up here um, we have our card title and our text and our button now if I move off of the preview button then it brings the thing back so you click it and you just leave it and then you can get a brief preview of it if you click preview again then it pulls out your editor if you want to be able to test it and roll over the buttons and all that kind of stuff then you need to save and close and then now here's our block right here <clears throat> that we put in and you can see there's a button here there's a card title and a little bit of card text so what we want to do is we want to make this a little bit neater and nicer so I'm going to add a section here with an ID of cards and then I'm going to use a bootstrap class here that's called container fluid what that does is it gives us a nice full width container I'm going to close out this section and then inside there I'm actually going to, to create um, a bootstrap row and then we're going to make a three column layout with uh, one card in each column so that's how we're going to do this uh, layout in the end so let's go class equals row and we'll close that div <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and do another div and so this is going to be class equals uh, column we're going to do small so at extra small at a phone layout it should stack but from uh, uh, kind of a large phone all the way up to desktop it should have a three across layout for our cards so we'll do small four so that means one column takes up four of the twelve available um, columns. Close that in a div. And what we're going to do is um, we're just going to pick up everything from here that's our card and we're going to cut it and we're going to paste it in side of here and just like most IEDs, I'm just going to hit tab and clean up the code a little bit. So there we go. So we have our section. It's called cards. <clears throat> we, and it's a container fluid. We have a row. And we have our first uh, card here. It's going to take up four of our 12, so it'll be one-third uh, block. And so what we need to do is we need to, since we have section, ID, and then div, so we need to pick up this and go down to here and we're going to do this three times so inside the row we're going to have three columns and so let's just copy actually let's do uh, I like to do this just as a matter of code so end card one this helps me to stay focused on the different cards what's what so we're going to copy this and we're going to come down and we're going to paste once, twice, we'll just change these. So now we have, uh, sorry, <clears throat> now we have three cards, so we have card number one, two, and three. And so let's take a preview here. You can see now we have our three cards, they have a card title, and they have the card text and the button. Well, that's exactly what we want and so we can go ahead and save and close that and what we're going to try to do here is we are going to do a little bit of styling now and we're going to add um, we're going to center align <clears throat> all this text and the buttons we're also going to add a, a glyph icon right up here and we're going to put a circle around it 
and then around each of the cards we're going to make the cards a little bit more defined not with a background color but with uh, kind of a material design uh, drop shadow behind it and then last we're going to add uh, a material design action like a little shadow action to the button so that when you roll over it um, it kind of comes out from the uh, out toward you from the screen a little bit of a 3d kind of coming out effect so it's going to look pretty cool pretty sweet and it's going to move uh, and it's going to be responsive right now you can see that we have our three across still and this is a tablet mode but if we go down to the mobile you can see that they begin to stack so this is exactly what we want and so let's get back into the code editor all you have to do is either click here to edit code or you can just simply click on the block itself and it will actually pull up the code editor for you so let's move into our first uh, bout of CSS here so the first thing that we have here is we have uh, some classes we have the outside class which is card we have card block we have card title and we have card text and then here we have just a regular button uh, it's button primary right now and so those are our classes that we have to work with to to be able to style everything we also have uh, the section ID which we could manipulate the section with uh, margins or padding <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look at the card uh, class so we'll do card and the first thing we're going to do is to do a text align. Now, if you're familiar with Bootstrap, and actually uh, I was looking through the code base for Bootstrap, there are quite a few things that you can do. Let's see. Uh, with text alignment, we could do this with a class um, called text extra small center, which would center it, uh, would center everything inside the card. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the CSS just to show you. Um, but if you're familiar with Bootstrap or you want to look on here on the components for Bootstrap 4, there are some of these things that can be done uh, without having to write any more CSS. You can just put in a class. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's do text align center and then um, after each one you can preview it so you can see that it actually works and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a margin of 2m and so this is top and bottom 2m's and 0 on the outsides so that gives us a little bit of space And then we're going to do padding of 2M all around. This will give us the inside space, which we'll be able to see in just a moment. <laughs> kind of hard to see that now. And let's get into the... Uh, I'm going to put a, not a, a regular border. I could do a border just around each of these. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit fancier now. Material design is all the rage. Uh, it looks really nice. <clears throat> it's subtle. And I found this code pin. It actually has some material design shadows on it. And uh, by S.D. Thornton. Uh, Samuel Thornton. It's called Material Design Box Shadows. So if you want to look that up. It's really nice. It gives you the CSS here for this is card 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So you have them all here and we're going to go with this one here which also gives you a little bit of a hover effect you can see and we'll be using we'll be using a similar effect on our button so that when you hover over it it looks like it's coming off the page and up to you um, so this is card <coughs> card one there's card one and then card hover this is card here goes with this one here so let's go ahead and take card one and I just want the box shadow effect so I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to 
I'm going to paste it in right here. And then now you'll see when we preview, we have our uh, just a very subtle little um, box shadow effect. Just to pull it off the page a little bit to let you know there's something a little bit different here. <clears throat> so I like that. And then we'll go down and the next part is going to be a border radius. Won't be quite as pronounced here, but it'll look nice. It's a little bit of a rounded border. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see on here, but if you can look in here, you can see there's a bit of a rounded border right here. So just a little bit softer. Let's get back into our code. And let's deal with the card title. I don't like that it's so small, so we're just going to get in here and go card title. And we're just going to make the font size a little bit bigger, like a heading. So we'll make the font size 2M, and then we'll make it all uppercase. See how that looks much better. And I think at this point we'll deal with the card uh, paragraph. Right now it feels a little bit too too much for me. So we're gonna set the line height at two. And we're also going to give it some margin on the top and bottom, uh, 2M and 0 on the sides. It should, yeah, so it kind of spaces it out a little bit, gives us some breathing room, a little bit of white space. And then I also want to, I also want to style the button. So I'm actually going to do a text transform on the button. I like uh, like the uppercase look generally, especially for uh, things that you want to show people, like calls to action. Let's see. Oh. Not just button, but it's a BTN as a class. So you have to make sure that you put the class in there. So we transform that. And then lastly, let's look at our button hover. I told you that we would give a little material design hover. hover. Uh, to the button. So we have our button class and then hover and we're actually just going to give it let's go in and give it a different uh, box shadow than we gave the other. So let's do a little bit more pronounced. So we'll do this second one. That's card number two. So we'll copy this box shadow and then we'll put it in here So now when we preview, well actually we won't be able to preview because once you come off of the preview it, it'll bring your code editor back. So let's save it and close and then now you can see there's just a little uh, underneath there's just a little hint of a shadow that just comes up nice and subtle but it allows you to really, it allows that button to really pop off the page. So now we have our basic card here. This looks okay to me. And the last thing that we're going to add is um, a glyph icon, which if I go back to, <clears throat> to getbootstrap.com slash components, uh, you'll see the glyph icons here. And these are just icons that you can use for your, um, for your web designs. Once you have uh, connected up to the Bootstrap CDN, you have access to these icons. And this is how we use it. So we grab this. Let me just copy it. And then what I want to do is I want to put it up here. And I'm going to give it some space. We're also going to give it a round uh, border around the icon. So what we have to do is come back to our HTML. And in between card and card block, that's where we need to put it. So this part here from the title down around is called the card block. And then card is the outside border. 
So we want it in between those. So that's where we're going to put it. And we just need to paste. Pull it out. Uh, one of the things you can do is you can make your code editor wider. <coughs> Excuse me. So that you get a little better uh, sense of everything. It's not going to play nice, but we can put it there. And right now we have a search, uh, which is fine. But we're going to have to add a couple more um, icons here. So let's put in the rest. And let's go grab a couple of different a couple of different icons. So doesn't really matter here. Um, let's say a bullhorn and a bell. So we'll do this one as the bell. And this one will be the bullhorn. And then we also have a search. So this will be okay. Let's take a preview of that. So now we have our icons. This is how they're going to show without any kind of styling. This is the uh, the bootstrap styling. And we need to do a little bit more to those icons. So let's open it up and we'll go back down to our CSS. I'm going to put it in here above the card title. <clears throat> That's what makes sense to me. And this is going to be... Um, dot card and then glyphicon so you can see here we have two classes glyph icon glyph icon search so we can just uh, hit this one or we can do the same thing for all the glyph icons which is what we're going to do so we want to increase the font size now I've already gone through and I've already created this so I already know and went through um, what each what each of these uh, values is going to look like whenever I actually put it into the into the website but uh, took a little playing around with the font sizes and things to get them just right I'm going to create a margin on the bottom of 1M uh, I'm going to put a border around the icon of 1 pixel solid and then um, a DDD is what I want to put on it. Border radius. Uh, 50%, which will give us a, a nice circle border around the icon. Padding, some internal padding of 1M to separate it from the border. And then I'm actually going to change the color of the icon to something a little bit lighter, not quite black, so a little bit darker. <clears throat> I mean a little bit lighter. Alright, so we have our, our glyph icons and this is the markup for those and that's going to hit each of these glyph icons that we just put in. So let's preview it. And then that's exactly what I'm going for. So let's go ahead and save and we'll close that. So now we have <clears throat> Our icon on top, we have our card all around, a little bit separated from the background. We have our title, we have our text, we have our button with a nice little uh, subtle hover whenever you put the mouse over it. And then you obviously are going to be able to go in and um, you'll have to, you know, put in the, uh, the link to the hover or to the button wherever you want it to go. So there's still a little bit of work to be done here. But as far as styling and as far as the power of the um, HTML and CSS editor, there's a lot. So I've done some videos already about uh, how a, a novice user who doesn't know code can be able to go in and make a, a beautiful website without this kind of stuff. And you can, and it looks amazing. But if you do have some HTML and some CSS code experience, um, and you have... Uh, the bootstrap components so any of these components um, can be added into bootstrap very easily by just copying and pasting what's on here on the bootstrap site or using the bootstrap classes inside of your own designs um, 
you know, you're only using, you can change the size of the buttons, you can change the colors of the buttons very easily. You could add icons into the buttons just like this. So there's all kinds of things that you can do uh, inside of, or using the uh, Bootstrap uh, components inside of Mo MobiRise. Um, and when we look at it on mobile, we have a three across here, so our card doesn't break down. It still looks pretty nice on a tablet. And then we look at it here, and then our card still looks really nice on a mobile device. Now these cards take on, uh, you could put an image at the top, you could put an image at the bottom, you could put a header across the top. There are all kinds of uh, different variations to the, the new cards, and you need to get used to them if you're using Bootstrap, because that's what, um, that's what Bootstrap is moving toward. Uh, remember, they're not doing panels anymore, they're doing cards. So if you were using those components to make cards, now they've given a super easy way uh, to just make a card-based design or a masonry-based design, um, masonry-type layout. <clears throat> so that is using um, the HTML editor in MobiRise to create your own distinct and unique blocks. And I'm actually going to put the code for this. Uh, you can download the code at the complete website builder tutorial that I've created um, and on the resources page so it's website tutorial dot highwaywebconsulting dot com slash resources dot html on the resources page you'll be able to download this code snippet and I'll create some other uh, original code snippets that all you have to do is open your uh, html and css editor and put those in as a template and then go through and create your own text uh, or add your own icons. So hopefully this will be a, a good resource for the community uh, around the MobiRise uh, editor to be able to create some more distinct looking websites and to be able to go through and make some changes to each of the content blocks.